guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great start to september i can't believe it's already september my head is still in the march april area it feels like i'm still on spring break from college this has just felt like an extended spring break and now summer is coming to an end and i can't really comprehend it but i'm excited nonetheless fall is my favorite season i am extremely basic like that i get so excited at just the mere thought of halloween and thanksgiving and fall and pumpkins <laughs> and all those things you know what that's okay if it makes me happy it makes me happy i shouldn't be ashamed of it but anyway today i'm going to be prepping for fall a little bit i think in this whole vlog i'm just gonna do like a few days in my life and just kind of take you guys along with me so i am getting ready right now to go to the store with my sister i have to make a few returns um and then i think we're gonna go to target i'm literally only gonna do like the top half of my face because i'm going to be wearing a mask of course i picked up some throw pillows and a blanket for my bed because i think that's kind of the only decorations i'm gonna do and then i have this cute little fall candle from target but the thing is i'm not happy with the one that i got so i'm going to return them okay so here's the throw blanket that i got it ended up being a little too red for me i think i'm looking for something a little more orange and i want it to match the orange in that painting up there if you can kind of see it but that's more like a yellowy orange and this is definitely more of a red orange so i'm going to look in target today for more of like a yellowy orange and then i got these pillows which kind of just have this black and white vibe going on i don't know they're they're really cute but they just looked a little bit too small on my bed and ideally i would like orange pillows to match the blanket but then i got black because i was like "Ooh, orange and black halloween but it just didn't look good so i'm going to return these and hopefully find something else today I successfully returned my items and we ran into Target and we we're going to do a mini Target haul. So I have acne. <laughs> I already finished my last tube of Panoxyl face wash. That's so your face wash. Another one. Those are cute. And then I got these earrings. I was trying to get more like accessories. There we go. Cute. They look like, what's that? Not shell. Tortoise shell. So, yeah yeah but they're like pastel -y. but like how you said like just like a black turtleneck with like jeans and these yeah and then my last thing Reese's <laughs> which I'm going to eat now okay so my first two boring things wasabi soy sauce almonds so good so good this body wash this smelled so good that we had to get it this is coconut rice milk and shea butter um, I don't know why they may have to make it gray, but whatever. <laughs> at least the words are like purple. Yeah. But then I found so this throw blanket at Target, which hopefully will look a little bit better than the other one I returned. And then I just got some comfy pajama pants because I'm slowly trying to get rid of my pajamas from middle school and incorporate more pajamas that like fit me. So yeah, just pick those up and I think that's it. So <laughs> it's a little bit later, actually a lot later, and we are doing a little sister skincare night over here. We have these 100% pure face masks. Um, they're like powder that you mix with water and then you it makes like a paste. What is yours? Just like a vitamin C? Mm -hmm. Mine's vitamin matcha. C is acne scar, so, that's good. so I'm just gonna like sprinkle a little bit on the plate. Yeah, like that much. You can use the spatula, I'll use my fingers. I'm just gonna add as much water as I think is necessary. I'm gonna use my viewfinder to apply this because... She said, I cannot see. I cannot see. Is this looking okay? I really I can't tell with my glasses off. It's very like splotchy. 
Like it's just okay. Really Is there turmeric in that? It looks like very vibrant, like turmeric. I think so. Her turmeric's good for it your skin. It smells kind of like. This sounds bad, but it smells like like a crab house. <laughs> crab house. So now we're just going to let these dry. Emily and I were watching, what is it called? Eat your way through, eating my way through. Yeah, like parks. It was like the delish. I'm not looking anywhere because I cannot see. So I'm like looking <laughs> we like. We both are so blind right now. But it's the girl who eats her way through like Harry Potter world. Is that what it's called? Universal, like the Harry Potter world, mm -hmm. Epcot, all of those places. I go to Harry Potter world. Yeah, me too. We had the idea to go to like amusement parks near us and vlog it and do like eating our way through said amusement park. I feel like that would be so fun. If you watch that like Delish channel or whatever her videos are, then you'd probably know what we're talking about. Anyway, just an idea, just brainstorming. Little pudding muffin. You, know, you wanna smell my mask? Little pumpkin oh, muffin. He just kicked me. How does your skin feel? It feels nice. I just pulled out all of my makeup, or not all of it, but most of it, and I've just been kind of going through and seeing what I want to keep or not. I know it feels like I just did this because I did only a few months ago, but I don't know. I've just really been kind of being very careful and cautious about the makeup I keep in my collection, if I like it, if I don't like it. I know like being a, I guess, beauty YouTuber, it's good to have a wide variety of things but I just don't know if that's me to just keep a bunch of makeup just to use one time a year you know I want to have products that I actually like like bronzers I actually like blushes I actually use and also I wanted to kind of chat about this because when I do videos like dupes videos or whatnot or even when I'm not doing a video I love to just go to Target and if something interests me I'll pick it up uh, that's how you accumulate just so much stuff and you waste so much money and I'm not saying I'll never do like a dupe video again or something like that but I really just want to be more mindful of the products I'm getting and the companies I'm supporting and um, I just don't want things to just sit around and not be used you know so yeah I, that's just something that's been going through my mind a lot recently so yeah just had to get that out there but anyway i'm just gonna be like cleaning and organizing and then right here is where i keep like the makeup that i want to use on a daily basis this i've been like switching things out this is not what it usually looks like but i think i'm going to switch the lip products out to like fall lip products and just put out some products that i want to use more so yeah i'm gonna do that So if you were wondering, I'm super happy with the throw blanket that I got from Target. Uh, I just need to wash it and then I will put it on my bed. Actually, I might wait to do fall decorating. I really can't decide because part of me wants to make it more like special. I sound so stupid right now. But part of me wants to wait until like the end of September or even October 1st to decorate. But part of me just wants to like make my room all fall themed now. I haven't decided yet, but this matches so much better with the orange in the painting. I don't know if you can tell. So now I just need to find uh, pillows for my bed and I think I'll be good to go. A few more candles wouldn't hurt honestly. I only have one fall candle right now. Might, you know, mess around and get a second really go crazy over here but yeah i am so excited to decorate for fall and i will definitely show you guys when i do trader joe's haul time mini ice cream cones those look so good i've been seeing these Hi guys <laughs> I've been seeing these all over social media they're just cute and it's like two or three bites which honestly might have to eat like, yeah, might have to eat like three at a time, but sparkling strawberry juice beverage. Ooh, how many are in there? Like four. But because that was so little, I wanted to try something else. Sparkling black tea with peach. Ooh. This haul was very unnecessary, like ice cream cones and sparkling strawberry beverage. I don't know, I just, I wanted them, so I got them. 
And now uh, we are going to film a video on Nick's channel trying weird, or I guess like out of the ordinary Trader Joe's food. So be on the lookout for that. We've tried quite a bit of things at Trader Joe's, but yeah. there's also a lot of things that we haven't tried. Are you going easy on me? No, I'm not. I I'm only good at serving. Think of my tennis skills you're you're good like you I haven't am? practiced but you have natural you have natural talent or you have the basics and i just have natural talent like yeah you just have natural talent you're just so good at everything so emily and i are having a little bit of a twilight party tonight we're wearing our little spooky pajamas um and we're making vampire brownies do you want to explain what it is here's the word cream i made it myself Homemade whipped cream. Um, brownies. That's really hot, yeah. Brownies. Um, and here we yeah. have our blood, which is a nice little raspberry and strawberry sauce. We just want, this is the only thing making it vampire themed, but we can put like a wooden dowel in it. Like we, I don't, is that in Twilight? Do they use wooden steaks or is that just like Vampire Diaries? I don't think they do that in this. I never watch Vampire Diaries, so I don't know. We're just gonna watch Twilight and eat our vampire brownies. Final product. Hi guys, good morning. It's the next day. I have a little smoothie here, which looks gray. Anyway, I just wanted to chat because I I like had the worst sleep ever last night and that doesn't really happen to me. Um, I usually sleep like through the night. I sleep great. I sleep a lot like I never have sleeping issues Last night I like woke up randomly at 4 a.m. And I was just having this Kind of like moment of panic where I was like, oh my god I'm on the internet and I was just freaking out and going through all these questions in my head Like am I proud of my content? Am I embarrassed? Am I like being my true self? Like should I not be doing this? Should I like stop posting videos or like am I a bad role model? I was just like having this Crisis and I was like obsessing over comments and it was like four or five in the morning and I was just sitting there like wanting to delete my whole channel. I just don't think anything can really prepare you to post YouTube videos and be on the internet and have so many like opinions and so many different people just commenting about you and your life and what you post which i am so grateful and so thankful for you guys like it is truly such a blessing but sometimes i have these moments of like oh my god this many people follow me you know and so yeah i was just thinking about that and like wanting to private all of my videos and like i don't know i just go through these moments and then i was like thinking about instagram and how like if you've i don't know if you guys have noticed but i don't really post on instagram that much anymore at least on my main feed um, and I post on my stories definitely more than my main feed. I feel like most people do but um, Instagram used to just be such a fun place for me to express myself. I love photography. I love photo editing like I, I Even like last year I used to post at least like once twice a week and it would just be I didn't really have to think about it like if I liked a photo I would just edit it, post it, and like move on with my day, but now I sit there I take a photo I edit it and I'm like Okay, I'm gonna post this and then I'm like, you know what? No, it's not good enough for my feed I feel like this will be better just an Instagram story and then I'm like, wait What if someone comments something negative about this? What if I get a DM and someone says something and it's like they don't like it, whatever I don't know. I just come come up with these scenarios and I'm like, okay Maybe I just shouldn't post it at all so that way I can avoid getting um, any negative DMs and then it's just like this cycle of overthinking about a stupid Instagram post and it's really sad <laughs> I'm just thinking way too much about what other people think and I know that you guys want like raw real content and for me to just like not care and that's what people like is when people just 
post whatever the heck they want and they're their true authentic selves but for some reason it's just been really hard for me recently i'm like overthinking everything and i'm always thinking about like what is something negative someone has to say about it you know which is not good you shouldn't live your life like that you should just like do what you want to do and post what you want to post and move on but then eventually i fell back asleep and i feel better this morning still want to go through and like private half of my videos but you know it's whatever i feel like with time i'll get more used to the youtube creator life but right now sometimes i still get these moments like these freak out moments where i'm like what the heck am i doing but i guess we just gotta go with the flow and i'll learn along the way and hopefully one day hopefully soon i'll just like stop overthinking every little thing not even if you're you don't even have to be a content creator like if you're a human on social media in this day and age i'm sure you can relate to that to some to some extent just like overthinking everything and caring about what other people say but we shouldn't so cheers to that ladies let's stop caring so much about what other people think and just post and do what makes us happy definitely easier said than done but we're gonna get there anyway i'm still in my pajamas and it's like noon so that's fun I was really inspired by like Chessie's declutter video of her bathroom and my bathroom was so disgusting so I thought you know let's why not do this myself and get started so that's just I'm doing it like section by section I have so much stuff but I'm kind of losing motivation and energy so I think I'm going to watch some decluttering videos on YouTube in order to get the motivation back sometimes that actually really works for me like if I want to clean and I'm like eh, I don't really feel like it I'll watch videos on YouTube and then see you know the final product and I'm just like dang now I want to start cleaning so so hopefully my motivation comes back after this we'll see Sorry I didn't vlog that much today. I did bits and pieces, but to be honest, today was kind of boring. I just kind of organized and cleaned my bathroom, um, cooked dinner. Then just now, my mom and Emily and I all watched New Moon. As you guys saw yesterday, Emily and I had a little like twilight party and made those brownies and tonight we were like, why not just watch the second one, you know, keep it going. We'll probably end up like watching the other two or three as well. I think there's only four movies. But anyway, I just wanted to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this summer vlog, probably the last summer vlog, honestly. Probably gonna do a start up some fall vlogs. It just feels weird calling it summer vlogs into September, but it is still technically summer. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do another summer vlog or should we, you know, move on into the fall vlogs? But thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.